We're back at Huawei Connect Live, and I have with me Oleg Lobvinov, the chair of IEEE's P2413 Working Group. Thank you for being here, Oleg. Oh, it is my great pleasure and an honor to be here. It's a wonderful event, and I'm honored to be a guest here. So tell me, what makes a city smart? The city has to adjust to the patterns, recognize the information that can be collected everywhere in the parts of the city, but more importantly processed, and from the data we need to leap into the information. Information needs to be transformed into knowledge, and knowledge can be transformed into wisdom that can actually improve how we operate and actuate the environment around us. By making cities smarter, we can actually transition to cleaner technologies, we can transition to cleaner transportation, cleaner environment, cleaner lives. So what appeals to me? Well, obviously comfortable environment is very appealing. Yeah. But at the same time, knowing that where I live makes the environment healthier and extends the life of our planet, I think that is a great combination all of us should enjoy. In your summit presentation, you called AI a new engine for smart city development. Why new? It's done by deep learning that is inherent to our brain, parallel processing. So AI can bring the same capability to smart cities. It's almost like our brain on super steroids and, <laughs> and lots and lots of coffee <laughs> early in the morning. So if we can achieve that, all of a sudden, this infrastructure that is created by IoT can be linked to the ability to derive the knowledge and wisdom and use this knowledge and wisdom to optimize the environment around us, which in turn will lead to us living in a healthier environment. It will be. So. AI-powered IoT, what would be the challenges in making a smarter city? The first dimension is creation of multi-domain environment. Because if you think about what typically happened in cities before, we had silos, we had verticals that normally didn't talk to each other. Now, with the combinations that is brought to us by IoT and AI, we can actually harness the power of information created in multiple domains, bring it together, fuse this information, create this massive data lake that we can derive knowledge and wisdom from. So that's the first challenge. We need to accomplish that. We need to break the silos. We need to make all of those domains and to work together. Them. Integrated and interoperable and actually with a semantic interoperability. So they understand what they're saying each other. The second challenge is the creation of a biodiverse ecosystem. So we need to have large companies like Huawei, we need other service providers, smaller companies that can embrace technologies, innovate, run faster, create new business model around the platforms that large companies can provide. And last but not least, we need the infrastructure. We need IoT combined with communication, combined with massive processing power that is given to us to be able to harness the power of artificial intelligence. So, the IEEE P2413 architectural framework is for faster IoT growth. The motivation was quite simple. We need to break barriers among the silos. And I'm very proud to say that now we're moving to the next frontier, now closer to smart city architecture. So we're taking this vast concept apl applicable across multiple domains and we're starting to focus on the more specific vertical, which is smart city. And it was great to have Oleg with us today to tell us more about AI-powered IoT and smart cities. Thank you, Oleg. Thank you. It was my pleasure.